time limit, and we're waiting for the participants to come into the ring area. One is greeted, as you hear. And uh, some of the comments to the other one. Not so bad, Lou. Good to see you. Okay, let's do the introductions. Introducing at 231 pounds, coming from Cox's Cove, Newfoundland, Tiger Williams. And his opponent today at 235 pounds, coming from Dorchester, Big Leo Burke. Referee is Ron Gouyen. Well, making his return to the Atlantic Canada area is Tiger Williams. Scrap Iron, they call him, as it's written all over his tights. Scrap Iron Williams, and he's got his hands full with Leo Burke. Oh, well, Leo Burke is being accused of hair pulling. We'll have to uh, await judgment on that one. Uh, Leo's been certainly one that has resorted to that from time to time as required. He knows the reputation of this uh, scrap iron Tiger Williams from Cox's Cove, Newfoundland. We've got an Atlantic Canada match here. But Tiger Williams, while Cox's Cove, Newfoundland may be his home, it certainly hasn't been his wrestling home for the last couple of years. He's been all over the world. And he's going to have to use every bit of his experience that he's gained there to compete in this match with Leo Burke. And the fans encouraging Leo to give it another shot. Tiger Williams on the wrong end. Leo Burke enjoying an advantage in the opening minutes of this match on today's card of Atlantic Grand Prix Wrestling. And Leo Burke has had some kind of matches with that man known as Rotten Ron Starr. As we indicated before, it's unfortunate that Starr had to let that streak, and it is a dirty streak that's in him, come out. Because with great technical maneuvers like the Russian leg sweep that he used in matches to gain victory, you could have great matches between he and Burke. But we're having great matches, but I'll tell you, it's right down and out. The technical side of wrestling goes out the window when Burke and Star meet. But right now, it's Burke and Tiger Williams. And Leo maybe knows something that... He may know something that we don't know. But he's been working on that left arm of Tiger Williams. For the most of this match. And there may be a weakness there that uh, Leo Burke knows about, or... As all good professional wrestlers do, of course, they work on one particular part of the body and get that weakened to the point that they're able to get their submission hold in and get that all-important victory. And victories, of course, are becoming very important to all of these wrestlers. A uh, clean break off the rope. There's Leo Burke and Tiger Williams. Williams with the headlock on Leo Burke and delivers the right hand. Close fist and referee Ron Gauguin is going to take a look at that and not think too kindly of using the closed fist. I'm sure Leo Burke thinks even less kindly of it. Tiger Williams holding on to that headlock. This match is one fall with a 20-minute time limit, and now Leo Burke and Tiger Williams. But no, Tiger Williams not going to allow it to follow its natural course. Uses the hair to add some advantage his way. 
certainly not beyond the realm of possibility for the Tiger Williams. Tiger Williams and Leo Burke. This match on today's card of Atlantic Grand Prix Wrestling. And we've got Tiger Williams in the corner. And Leo Burke, while he had a clean break before, has taken enough from this guy Williams. But no, sir, Williams got a nice reversal on Leo Burke. And Leo Burke is finding a pretty formidable opponent in this man they call Tiger Williams from Cox's Cove, Newfoundland. And you take a look at this guy, Tiger Williams. He's changed his appearance somewhat since we saw him. The beard is shorter. And he appears to have gained a fair bit of experience in the years that have intervened between his last appearance here on Atlantic Grand Prix Wrestling. And now, so Tiger Williams. And Leo Burke. This match on today's card of Atlantic Grand Prix Wrestling. And a knee drop for Tiger Williams. And that's one way, and of course the fans in the Atlantic Karen area know that the headlock is probably one of the most devastating holes in wrestling. Oh yeah, sure. Running around, we were cheated with our international heavyweight belt. Now you got this goofball freshman running around, Leo Burke. Oh yeah, slapped into the muscle. I had it up to here, man. I had it. I am freaking tired. Time I turn around, button into my business. You understand oh, what I'm saying to you? Who's buttoned into who's Everybody's business? Mr. Into the Bass? Business. Oh. I don't like it. I can understand. You got this not goofball like freshman here running around. He telling some people. You got Stephen Pettyfall running around telling some people. I had it up to here, man. I see. Okay. Well, we'll take it for what uh, what you said it was worth there, Mr. Bass. But uh, anytime I, I turn around, it's only buttoning my business. I think the fans in the Atlantic Canada area make their own judgment. Hey, never that. mind the fans in the Atlantic Grand Prix or whatever the hell you call it. I just had it, man. Yeah, well, I think they've had it with you, too. One, two, and three. That's it. That is all she wrote for Tiger Williams. And now, Mr. Bass said he's had all he could take. Look out, Leo Burke is cleaning house on uh, Mr. Bass and Tiger Williams. Hand race in victory. <laughs> Mr. Bass is talking in good humor. What fans, what is going? Ron Star came from the back of the studio here while Bobby Bass, and now Leo Burke has Ron Star in the sleeper hole. Here comes the Super Destroyer. Sam's bedlam has broken loose here, and you can see the cowards teaming up on Leo Burke. It's three to one right now with Bass standing outside. And we've got the Cuban assassin in it. Rock and Ron Star was looking for help from the Cuban assassin, but the Cuban assassin came to Leo Burke's rescue. Fans, all hell has broken loose here at Atlantic Grand Prix Wrestling. The Cuban assassin, come in. You know what? I know that Leo Burke don't like the Cuban assassin. I don't like Leo Burke either, but this is personal matter. I was talking to Mr. Fidel Castro, and he told me that Bobby Bass have been, you know, watch, uh, the, watch, uh, the brain watching me. Uh, now, yes, now, Bobby Bass, every winter time over here in, in, in America, United States, he called the Cuban assassins. I sent him a return ticket to Havana. He spent two or three months in my hacienda there. To come back to the United States, he asked for two or three thousand dollars. He never paid my money back. And one way or the other, Bobby Bass, I'm going to get my money in revenge of you. Okay, and that's, uh, well, fans of the Atlantic Canada area saw what happened. The Cuban assassin, while he doesn't like the Cuban assassin, Leo Burke does not like the Cuban assassin, uh, he still said, come in to help him out. And I'm not sure exactly what's happening here. But Leo Burke and the Cuban assassin now meeting 
in the ring. Leo Burke has invited him in. And times, I'm not sure. We're going to have to watch this very carefully. I'm backing out of the way here because they're much too big for me. There's a lot of mistrust between those two. And we'll see. Even though the Cuban assassin did come in to assist Leo Burke, it was a matter between he and Star and Just want to make one thing clear. One thing clear. I don't know what reason Cuban had to lend me a hand. However, I will say this. I appreciate it as much. Nobody, pound for pound, come any tougher than Cuban assassin. I've dealt with him in the past. I know what he's like. But don't make no mistake, I'm not ready to form a tag team combination with Cuban Assassin. My man is Steven Pettipo. He's going to be my partner whenever I team up. Cuban Assassin, again, I thank you. But whatever difference we have, I think you're mad enough. We'll settle in the ring face to face. That's all I've got to say. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, Leo. And, uh, well, some kind of a uh, compromise between the two of them here, uh, the Cuban Assassin and Leo Burke. And, uh, well, we've had quite a turn of events here in this match on today's card of Atlantic Grand Prix Wrestling. We'll be back in just a moment. This is our most...